Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, uh, Metal Marty back with another movie video. This time, as you can see, it's uh, Stephen King this time. Uh, just like to say thanks to everybody who watched the John Carpenter one, it was a great, uh, fun video to do. Uh, if anybody doesn't know me, I'm from Ireland, I, I collect uh, uh, heavy metal, well, I collect uh, music, mostly uh, vinyl, CDs and cassettes, a bit of everything, mostly heavy metal, hard rock. There is some 80s there, I collect a lot of soundtracks, all that sort of stuff. And I also collect movies, as you probably can tell from the bit of the background in the room here. So yeah, so I just decided to do, um, I haven't done movie ones in a while, so I decided to do a few movie ones just for uh, the October month, since it's Halloween and all that sort of jazz. So yeah, so I pulled out Stephen King uh, adaptations next. Now what I've done here is I have a top 10, uh, unlike the John Carpenter one, which was, which was handy enough apart from the first one. Uh, but this this one there's so many Stephen King has released so much stuff it's incredible or it's not he has released but there's been so much stuff done from his short stories and novels and all that sort of jazz so yeah so quickly I'm going to show you first before I show you the top 10 just to kind of fill the video out of just stuff that I have in my collection so we have some uh, DVDs some uh, blah, what are they called blu-rays and a few 4ks uh, I don't have a lot this is a great thing but this video is you see so many omissions from my collection and it's making me think jesus i thought i had that or i thought i had that on blu-ray but i've actually only got it in dvd i need to sort that out but uh yeah so I'll quickly i'll just fire through all these um that aren't in me top 10 some of you are probably going to think jeez how did that not get it? it was top 10 but yeah everybody's top 10 i'm sure is going to be different because you know movies make uh, mean certain things to certain people and then there's always the rewatchability of certain movies and then if you've seen a movie too many times you just it kind of not put you off it completely but it's just you know it'll bring you down the list incidentally in the background we're listening to uh it chapter two uh soundtrack by uh benjamin wallfish 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 great soundtrack very creepy great movie uh spoiler alert <laughs> didn't make me top 10 part two on here so yeah so that's what's on in the background if you can hear it i don't know if you can hear it or not <clears throat> yeah but once again thanks to everybody for watching the last one and thanks to the couple of new subscribers as well so uh yeah it's always a bit of fun okay i'm gonna start off with a classic on dvd there's a few dvds for so creep show the famous uh, short story anthology that everybody knows at this stage part one and part two i've got part two to show you on uh, vhs or blu-ray very shortly not vhs but yeah what a what a great what a great movie including the uh, uh, Stephen King himself as uh, the main man <clears throat> he's he's put out so much stuff people have done so much stuff from him still coming out the remake of Salem's Lot is out now and I don't know if it's gonna be as good as the last one okay we'll keep going on here so we have we have Carrie so Carrie 1 and Carrie 2 Carrie 2 the rage definitely not near as good as the as the original one but it's okay of a movie so yeah that's Carrie on on DVD you will see Carrie later not in person, but you will see her later. Uh, this is a modern day one, uh, Stephen King's uh, Good Marriage, with uh, Frank uh, Anthony, uh, Lap Lap I can't pronounce his name, but Joan Allen's in as well. It's a decent movie. Didn't pick it up on Blu-ray because um, I think that DVD will do fine, unless I come across it very cheap. Uh, Ireland's own Pierce Brosnan, Bag of Bones. I think this might have been a mini-series, because this is over two and a half hours long. Uh, it's decent as far as I remember. It's a lot of Stephen King stuff is very hit and miss it's okay but it's not brilliant uh, there's a film that could have very encroached the top 10 uh, john cusack and uh, samuel l jackson 1408 with the haunt the kind of ghost writer going on to different hotels and sort of stuff if you haven't seen any of these movies yeah there is some of them worth checking out 1408 it's a great movie i've watched it a lot of times so it's it's sort of didn't make me want to put it in the top 10 there's another great one of stephen king uh, this is that pupil sorry ian mckellen and uh uh, Brad Renfro, really, really good story. I think David Schwimmer's in this out of uh, Friends as well. That's that's definitely one to watch out, people, if you haven't seen it. Next up, this was nearly in my top 10. It's a sci-fi horror Stephen King one. I absolutely love this. Great cast, great great soundtrack, great everything. The cast is brilliant. It's a great story. Um, Lauren Kazdan film. So this is Dreamcatcher. You've got Morgan Freeman in this. Timothy Oliphant, Tom Sizemore, Donnie Wahlberg, Duddits. Uh, Thomas Jane, Jason Lee, Morgan Freeman, Daniel Day, uh, Damian Lewis, uh, Mr. Gray. It's, it's, uh, I, I love this film. Might be on everybody's list, but I, I really think Dreamcatcher is an excellent Stephen King movie. Uh, then we have Desperation. Uh, Desperation is... Yeah, I'm just trying to remember who's in it. 
Yeah, Henry Thomas is in it. Charles Darning. Yeah, Tom Skerritt. Uh, Stephen King's Desperation. That, that needs another watch. I think I might keep that out for my uh, my Halloween viewing. Uh, okay, up next we have a, a remake. There's a lot of Stephen King remakes. I watched one the other night, The Children of the Corn one, and it was completely rubbish. Uh, uh, Three Beard was out in the... Uh, out of uh, Lord of the Rings was in for some reason. <laughs> if you've seen it, you know what I mean. So that's the remake of Carrie with Chloe Grace Moretz and Joey Ann Moore. Actually, it's not terrible compared to some of them. Decent enough. So that's the remake of Carrie. Moving along, we've got uh, part one and part two of The Mangler. Stephen King short story, I believe. This is with Robert Ungland about um, a, a, what, a laundry press. It's, it's, it's a weird even thing to be thinking of writing a book or writing a story about. Tobe Hooper directed this. Uh, the Mangler is not too bad. It's one of those 5 out of 10 Stephen King movies, which there's a lot of. And then came the uh, Mangler 2, Graduation Day. I don't remember this. I remember watching it once. I uh, haven't watched it since. I obviously didn't think too much of it, but that's that. Quickly, quickly. Uh, Johnny Depp's entry is uh, Secret Window with um, Monica Bello. Maria Bello. Yeah, can't take Maria Bello. Yeah, this is this is actually a very good movie. John Turturro is in it as well. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's about a writer. Has a lot of Stephen King stuff. Ah, uh, really good film. Secret Window. Next up, we have Storm of the Century. This is definitely a TV series. Two hundred and fifty-five minutes. This was really, really good. That's another one that needs to come out as well of the off the shelf to be watched. Who was in this? Uh, blah, 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 Colin Fiore. He's in a few of his films. Tim Daly. As you can tell by this video, I'm not going to have everything of Stephen King. He's released that much. The, the Night Flyer. There's just tons of stuff I don't have. But um, <clears throat> all I can do is show you what I have. There's no point listing off stuff. Next up, we have the re, the retelling of the classic The Shining. This was made for TV uh, TV series with Rebecca De Mornay and uh, Stephen Weber. It's actually not too bad. It's that good. I threw the first disc away. But uh, yeah, it's actually it's not too bad. You know, it has some it has some creepy moments in it, but um, yeah, it won't top it won't top the the Jack one. So yeah, that's that. And um, we have the Sleepwalkers. I can never remember that one's name. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Mad Shinamic. So yeah, Sleepwalkers, Werewolf, Tail. Pretty good. I'm just looking up here to take everything down. I did. Okay. So that's basically that's what I have with Stephen King on DVD. Okay. Blue Rays. Got the dark half. This is a really good one. This was directed by George Romero. Once again, it's about a uh, writer. But uh, yeah, really, really good. Really, really enjoyed that. What is that in the cover like? So that's the dark half. Next up, we have Cujo. Another, another great movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely, definitely worth watching if you have not seen it. I, lo I love Cujo. It's really good. Big uh, rabies infected the. Uh, St. Bernard Dog. Next up we have Children of the Corn. Now this is the original trilogy. This came out in 88 films. Uh, I love the original one with uh, Linda. Is it Linda Hamilton? It is Linda Hamilton. Don't even why I'm looking. That's the original one there. It's really good. Then you have uh, Part 2. Children of the Corn. The Final Sacrifice. Uh, Children of the Tree. Children of the Corn Tree. Not Children of the Trees. And then I, I think they went on further. I think I have four on VHS, and I don't know how much they went after that. But yeah, the one is a great part. One is a great. It's a classic. It's still, it's still, it's still a great, great creepy horror movie. The, the remake is just so bad. It's unbelievable. This creep show two out on Arrow recently bought that, so it's still in the package. But it's, it's good. It's a good anthology. Some people like it better than the first, but I still, I still like prefer the first one. But uh, yeah, creep show two. A TV series. I just grabbed this stuff randomly, as you probably can tell. Uh, Eleven twenty-two sixty-three. Uh, this is recent enough. I don't know what year it's come out in. It's a few years ago, but it's good. So it's a TV series based on uh, Eleven twenty-two. So that's the twenty-second November nineteen sixty-three. So this is about the Kennedy assassination. Uh, James Franco kind of the time traveling thing. Really, really good. The uh, Stephen King and J.J. Abrams. Really good. Worth watching if you haven't seen that. Sorry from flying through these because there's a good bit here still in front of me. Next up, we have the original TV series of It with uh, Tim Curry. What a classic. Frightened a lot of kids, myself included at the time. That was our introduction to uh, Pennywise. Savage, savage stuff. Uh, great, great movie. Uh, late, great John Withers in this. Who else? Uh, Richard Thomas, Tim Reed. Yeah, excellent stuff. The original It. It's brilliant. 
The aforementioned Children of Corn of the Corn, the new one, just came out in 2020 or something like that. Yeah, it never should have come out. It's dog shit. Don't watch it. Uh, Cell, starring John Cusack and Morgan, not Morgan, sorry, Samuel L. Jackson. This is a, um, it's okay, but thriller, it's not brilliant. It'll be the best in the world. Here's one that a lot of people might know. Uh, this is Maria Bello in Big Driver. It's kind of got a, a I spit in your grave kind of feel to it. Uh, it's actually not bad. I think it's a made for TV movie. Uh, Joan Jett is in it as well. So Big Driver's not too bad. There's a, a brilliant TV series, the original mini series of The Stand. This is excellent. I think there, there was another TV series of it done uh, more modern than this one was, but I didn't watch it. Uh, so I might just have to check that out. Be another one to put on my list of stuff to get but yeah this this is brilliant this is brilliant it is quite long uh yeah it's it's 369 minutes or something like that but it's long but it's worth watching if you haven't seen the stand it's excellent one of my absolute favorites i was going to put this in the movies i know it's a made for uh it's a two 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 episode tv special i will get it out yet i was going to put this in my movie because i absolutely love it the as i said a few minutes ago the the new version is in the cinema at the moment, the new film of it, but uh, yeah, this could be a film, but I, I didn't put it into the films, but uh, yeah, Salem's Lot, absolutely beast of a movie, this 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 frightened the shit out of me when I was a kid with Danny at the window, like, you know, it's just, just excellent, excellent movie with the late the David Soul, awesome stuff, and um, James Mason, yeah, absolutely brilliant, love that movie. Uh, another one I watched recently myself. This is a kind of foreign version. I don't could be a Spanish version of it, but this is a uh, Needful Things. Stephen King Needful Things. Max Van Sydow, uh, Bonnie Bedelia, and uh, out of uh, Die Hard and Ed Harris. It's about a shop called Needful Things. If you haven't seen it, it's a good movie. It's very very Stephen King. It's really good. Uh, what's this? I just grabbed everything randomly. This is Pennywise: The Story of It. So this is a uh, recent enough. A documentary about the making of uh, Pennywise, which is really good. Of uh, sorry, the original lit with uh, Tim Curry. So good interviews with Tim Curry and everybody in that. It's really, really good. Actually, that's worth watching. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. Sorry, and uh, another piece of crap. The the new redone version of uh, Firestarter. I don't even know who the hell is in this. Is it that good-looking dude? Uh, Zach Efron is in it. Uh, I don't have the original with Drew Barrymore, so that's another one I need to put on my list. It's only when I start pulling this stuff off the shelves that I actually realised that I didn't have the original of Firestarter, which is sacrilegious. So, okay, I've got this three uh, German Stephen King box set. So in this you've got, uh, you have got Cat's Eye, another anthology story. You've got Sometimes They Come Back, and then you've got Riding the Bullet with Corey. Is it Curry Ham or Curry Feldman this time? Yeah. So, no, it's not even Riding the Bullet. It's Silver Bullet. I don't have Riding the Bullet. Uh, yeah, with Curry Ham. Yeah. Good box set. A couple of good movies and that one is there as well. Okay, a few 4Ks and then we're on to the, and then we're on to the top 10. Sorry if this is taking so long. But uh, yeah, I had to take everything off to go through them to see what, what my favourites were. Okay, a few that didn't make me list. One or two maybe should have. Uh, the Running Man. Uh, Saren Arnie. What a great movie. Uh, Rachel Tickle, Tickleton, is that her name? She's in that as well. It's a great movie. Um, it, it could have made me top ten because I really do like it. It's one of Stephen King's really good sci-fi movies. So uh, Arnie didn't just quite make it. Uh, I'll leave that one for a minute. Uh this wasn't great either. It's still sealed. I have seen it. I had this is my second time to have it. This is the Dark Tower. Stephen King's Dark Tower series with uh, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey about the gunslinger. It's okay. It's not bad. Definitely not on the top 10 list. This actually was a good reboot. This is uh, Pet Cemetery. Uh, the up to date one with Jason Clark. It's actually decent. Hasn't a touch on the original one, but it's still good. Uh, what we're listening to in the background it Chapter 2. Uh, really really good the modern day it films are great so uh, yeah really really good um version of that story next up we had cat's eye a minute ago but now we have it in 4k so this is the short stories uh 
who's in this as well. Drew Barrymore's in this, and James Woods, legend James Woods. I absolutely love him. Uh, yeah, three good short stories, all through the view of the cat's eye. If you haven't seen it, worth watching. Uh, Christine, which I showed in my um, John Carpenter movies. John Carpenter directed movies. It's a fantastic movie. I don't know where it was on my John Carpenter. It was it was pretty pretty on the mid, middle of the pen there anyway. So it was a really good movie. So that's Christine. <clears throat> and the last one I have in 4K. Well, that's not in the top 10. Uh, a lot of people probably would have had this in their top 10. I know everybody loves this movie. And I like this movie. I really, really like this movie. But I do not want to sit and watch John uh, Coffee going through all hell again. So um, I put the, didn't put the green mile in it. It's a fantastic story with Tom... Tom Hanks and um, James Cromwell. Who else is in it there? I'm just looking here. But um, yeah, fantastic movie. But who the hell want to sit through John Coffey's execution again? Not me. Definitely not. But uh, yeah, still a great movie. Still a great movie. Okay, we are now on to the top 10. You'll be glad to hear. Obviously in descending order, 10 to 1. A lot of these movies... Uh, mean as much to me and they all could have been anywhere on the list apart from the top one because it's, it's definitely a standout for me so uh, some of these may have been higher on your lists if you do your list if you do your list or if you know what you like put them in the comments as well just get involved with this video let me know what your Stephen King favorites are as I say there's tons of omissions if you go through a Stephen King list I'm missing tons but anyway at number 10 stand by me now a lot of people Myself included. Love this movie. A lot of people probably would have had this higher. So you got the four, this story of four four young kids. A uh, lot of young actors in this. River Phoenix. Well, young back then. Will Wheaton. Corey Feldman. Jerry O'Connell. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland's in it as well. He's one of the older brothers. Everybody knows the story. But four kids going to find a body. This let me down a wee bit. This movie. And not let me down. I, I, I love the movie. But I think it's, just think it's too short. It just needed a bit more bit more to it i always find it too short when i watch it i think it's only about an hour and this is not even an hour and a half long like you know it's too short but a great great movie for stephen king number 10 he wrote some brilliant stuff <clears throat> at number nine now there's one or two modern day movies in this this came out in 2019 might surprise some people that's on the list but i think it's an absolutely amazing sequel we'll say to uh, one of Stephen King's classic movies from 1980. So this is uh, Stephen King's Doctor Sleep. Uh, the follow up to uh, The Shining. This is absolutely amazing if you haven't seen it. It's, it's one of the best modern day movies I've, I've seen. It's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Scotland, Hugh McGregor is in this. Rebecca Ferguson. There's there's a great cast in it. It's just just a great follow up to the Danny, Danny Torrance story. With the shining and there's more people that shine in this and if you haven't seen it it's just excellent an excellent excellent movie i love dr sleep never read the book but uh yeah i've read some stephen king book believe it or not but dr sleep for me is fantastic could have been higher on the list even <clears throat> okay at number eight uh i put in the mist frank darabont directed the mist i love this movie fantastic fantastic horror movie great cast uh, a lot of the walking dead cast are in this thomas jane is the lead in this uh, his family what's his name his name frank in it doesn't matter but anyway yeah. yeah it's all mostly set in a in a, a, a mall not a mall a, a, a big grocery store or whatever you want to call it in, in america mist descends on the town what's in the mist you don't be long finding out and it contains one of the most horrific crazy endings of a movie i've ever seen it's one of those movies that'll just leave you at the end of it will leave you gobsmacked and you won't forget about it for days it's just it'll always be in your head the end of the movie but yeah great great movie i absolutely love that one there so that's at number eight at number seven <clears throat> another modern day movie an absolute beast of a movie this this could have went up in the list um i've put in it first chapter chapter one the losers club now i think this is a fantastic take is it better than the, the original tv series for me it is i went to the cinema to see one and two of this uh, the two parts of this and i think it's absolutely fantastic i can't wait for the tv series of Derry to come out but this is just brilliant young uh Skarsgård. is it bill there's so many of the Scarsgard brothers, they're like the Baldwins. But brilliant cast, 
all, all, the, all the kids in this are fantastic. It's the brilliant story of it once again. But this is this is fucking terrifying. Especially if you don't like clowns. I remember going to the cinema and say this. It was fantastic. So yeah, definitely at number 7 from 2017. It's chapter 1, The Losers Club. Banging film. <clears throat> okay, at number 6. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people I even know in, in my own movie. I, um, I'm part of a movie club in, in town here where I live, a weekly movie club. We review movies and watch movies and all that. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people is going to have this as probably their favourite Stephen King movie. I love it. It's a fantastic movie. It's a great uh, adaptation of... Was it a book? I think it might have actually only been a short story. I'm not sure about that. But it's fantastic. Uh, I've seen it so many times. This is this is why it's number six on my list, but it's an amazing movie. It's still sealed. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. I haven't watched it in ages. That's why it's still sealed. I'm trying to leave it as long and long as possible because I think I overwatched this movie. It's so good. Everybody knows the story. Uh, Morgan Freeman, Tim Robbins. Uh, yeah, great cast in this. Absolutely killer, killer movie. There's stuff on higher on the list there that you're probably thinking jesus how is that higher than that but it's just these are more rewatchable to me than the shawshank because i've seen it so many times and it's a long movie but it's absolutely an amazing movie uh so yeah shawshank redemption at number six believe it or not okay at number five now this film i remember seeing this and it, this film scared me i don't know why but this film scared me just some of the scenes in this are just terrifying man it's really really good um adaptation of the novel so this is 1989's Pet Cemetery. Man, what a banging movie. That little kid, Gabe, fucking hell, and his cat church. It's just fantastic. Great, great movie. Uh, but, 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 trying to see if there's any mention of the actors' names. I can't remember Herman's Monster's name or, or the main two actors. So anyway, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a great, great horror. Absolutely love it to this day. It will be rewatched at Halloween because I think it's fantastic. So number five, 1989's Pet Cemetery. <clears throat> Talk faster. Another film from 1976. This time, this kind of introduced everybody to telekinesis. We didn't know what it was. Well, I didn't know what it was until I've seen this movie. So this is uh, the story of Carrie White. So trying to close the box, son of a bitch. So Sissy Spacek, uh, John Travolta, Piper Laurie. Can't remember your woman's name, the girl at a Robocop. She's in this as well. But uh, yeah, what a fantastic movie. Sissy Spacek is just amazing in this. So it's the story of Carrie White. A uh, teen developing her telekinesis powers and then everybody pisses her off. So she pisses them right back. So uh, yeah, fantastic movie. At number four, I put down Carrie. Always love that movie. I can really watch that anytime at all because it's just so good. Okay, 1995. <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of talking now. I'm sure you know because you've been listening to it. But yeah, this is a great movie. This is a great uh, thriller. Starring Caddy Bates, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. Is it Max Van Sido that's in this as well? I'm pretty sure, is it? No, it's not Max Van Sido. Can't remember the dude's name now. Please put it in the comments if I can't see it. Uh, well... I have to find his name. Christopher Plummer. How did I get that wrong? So yeah, at number three, Dolores Claiborne from 1995. Caddy Bates is an amazing actress. She's done some brilliant Stephen King movies. And Jennifer uh, Jennifer Jason Lee is a fantastic actress too. This is uh, Peter, not Peter Stormare. I can never remember his name either. But yeah, keep talking. David Strathairn, this is a fantastic movie if you haven't seen it. It's about a more... Uh, a daughter going back to help her mother who's been accused of murdering her husband in a kind of a small town. It's always a small town, maybe Castle Rock. But yeah, fantastic acting, fantastic story. Yeah, just the whole way through. Did she do it? Didn't she do it? It's just fantastic. If you haven't seen Dolores Claiborne, go watch it. Fantastic. At number two, yes, Caddy Bates is back. And this one I don't have on Blu-ray, which I'm embarrassed to say i thought i did unless someone has a lend of it i do lend out a lot of movies and stuff maybe i have it but I didn't. i'm gonna get it again anyway so yeah caddy bates finest performance for me ever 1990s misery with james Caan. what an amazing movie james Caan's a writer as you know car crash in the mountains ends up in 
Caddy Bates' is home. What's her name? Annie Wilkes. Uh, yeah, Annie Wilkes. Uh, Paul Sheldon, the writer of Misery Chastain novels. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Terrifying. Jesus, talking about your number one fan. This is crazy. I see with the, with the ankles and oh, everything to do with it. It's so tense. What a great movie. So rewatchable. Amazing. Tense story and brilliant acting. And uh, just fantastic. Yeah. Really need to get the Blu-ray. I don't think it's out in 4K unless it is in the States. But uh, yeah. So that can leave only one. There can be only one. This movie is uh, probably my second favourite movie of all time. After Jaws, as everybody will know at this stage, because I never shut the hell up about it. So, uh, yeah, Stanley Kubrick, Kub Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is number one for me from 1980. Absolutely. Whoa, this is the stuff of nightmares growing up, man. I absolutely love this movie. It's just fantastic. Set in the Overlook Hotel. Uh, what's... Her name that recently died, Shelley Duval, Jack Nicholson, uh, Scatman Carruthers, uh, Danny Lloyd. Uh, you know the story about the Overlook Hotel. Danny and what's his name? Pulling the blank here all of a sudden. But yeah, it's an amazing movie. It's it's creepy and you've got the twins in it. Uh, all the murders is in it. And uh, yeah, it's a long movie. But it's it worth every minute of it. It's two hours and twenty four minutes. But um, I'm trying to think of the the Danny bit. Can't think. Just just drawing a blank. But yeah, for me, The Shining is definitely number one Stephen King movie. Stephen King movie adaptation. This is a fucking great movie. Great great movie. If you haven't seen it, I'd be amazed. But uh, yeah, there's some some amazing scenes in it. Red Rum, Tony. Tony, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. So, yeah, what a great, great movie to end off that. Stephen King Bonanza. Right, guys. I don't know how long that was, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. I'm going to enjoy putting all them back now, wherever they belong. But uh, cheers for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favourite uh, Stephen King movies are. There's probably stuff I missed there. Obviously, there is stuff I missed there. There's stuff probably on my list that you would have put ranked higher than that. So, just let me know. Um... Let me know if you enjoy these movie videos. I want to do some more. I really enjoy getting this stuff off the shelf. And it helps to see what I'm missing from my collection as well. In, in various formats and that sort of stuff as well. So that's it guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Sunday here in Ireland. Uh, take care of yourselves. And go watch some movies. And I will see you all on the next one. Probably going to be a music one. And then I'll, I'll sneak in a few more movie ones before Halloween. If I can. Which I will do. Definitely. But anyway, cheers. Thanks a million. Talk to you all soon. Good luck. Bye.